All right, let's go, boys. Yeah. King versus GDM quarterfinals of the RTSL League Mediterranean. So uh, let's take a look at the gods that uh, both parties are playing. Lights on green so we can drive through. Yeah. Alright, so Mel O on Hades and then we have Gold Line on Zeus uh, X Platinum on Oranas for GDM and Dance on uh, Zeus and then we have Fareon on uh, Zeus and we have uh, last but not least Keen Skady on the Kronos so uh, let's see how it's gonna pan out so uh, all teams of course are gonna start up with the dog it's a very obvious opener for this map if there's sea then you gotta fish you gotta summon your inner Japanese so there are no octopus on the sea though but delicious uh, birch very uh, nutritious to make citizens so uh, let's see what the uh, general strategy is gonna be for both teams so I feel like Keen is gonna go double restoration for the C and uh, early deconstruct to uh, stop the GDM team from fishing early on. Of course they are gonna get the wood back so they can remake it but uh, it's gonna delay them a little bit so uh, so yeah uh, they're just cutting out the picks just scout out the map a little bit, you know, get the big train going, scout out the black fog, you know uh, how it goes in the early game of AOM, open up with the houses, but yeah man, let's take a look at the relics, uh, caravans are cheaper, too bad there's no Egypt on this map, otherwise that relic would be like the bomb, but uh, it's still a decent relic man. Every little bit uh, counts. So a trick that the pro players like to do actually is just like eat one pick at a time. So the other picks uh, fatten up slowly. That's how you uh, maximize the food income in the long run. So let's see uh, how many fish ships each uh, player has. Uh, three for Skady. Three for Ferron. And uh, a lot of fish ships for uh, dance. He's uh, danking out right now. Five fish ships for X Platinum, showing the Platinum skills. And then uh, Metalo also on five fish ships. So uh, Gold Line actually also be on six fish ships. So one player on each team having like a big lead in fish ships. But yeah, uh, usually you just go like 5 or 6 fish ships, then you build a tempo and you go up to uh, the classical age. And then you start pumping out those uh, fight ships and try to harass the enemy uh, teams, uh, their fishies. So yeah, even on the sea, raiding is a fan. That's what we like. We gotta stop the enemy uh, eco from uh, getting too, uh, too big. So let's see if anyone is going to the classical age yet. Let's see if there's any uh, early bloomers or boomers. Yeah, so uh, Skate is gonna go through Prometheus. Uh, Gold line already at 25% for uh, Hermes. Summoning the inner, inner French. Actually, is he going Hermes really? Wow. So no restoration actually for uh, gold lion maybe it's a misclick I honestly don't think so but uh, maybe he just might like underworld or something late game he's gonna put a scout in the corner of the map and then underworld take a TC maybe with a ceasefire to secure it some uh, sick place so Pharaoh actually going up fairly late in comparison uh, to the rest of the players Dance already being up uh, almost 80%. Uh, 
X Platinum 2 going up. So, uh, Gold Lion being the first person to go up, followed by X Platinum and Skatey. So, we're gonna see the feller from Skatey. He teleported or actually time shifted his uh, tempo uh, to the enemy, uh, his base, and now he's gonna hammer away at his uh, dog. His deconstruct should be up uh, pretty soon too, so he's gonna get rid of one dog. But in the counterplay for Farron, he's actually making like four dogs as a countermeasure. So that's pretty clever actually. I like that. So uh, Dance is gonna send his ships to assist uh, Yellow with uh, the Navy fights. Yellow going up right now. I think he actually was making more docks because he has actually like too much wood. So he was like, mm, let's just spend it on more docks. So yeah, it's a good idea. Uh, so Metalo is getting a little bit outnumbered here, but uh, the Greek fight ships are just like a little bit stronger than Atlantean ones. Atlanteans uh, ships are a little bit faster to kind of like balance it out. So the first dock is going down. Let's check the eco upgrades. No eco ups from yellow. Pick and hand axe for the pocket player from uh, GDM. And only hand axe from gold lion. So interesting eco upgrades. Let's see uh, how the navy battles are going on the left side of the map. So just a little bit uh, of a Raz going on, a little double right here. So Metalo is going to drop the first uh, restoration, making Teal go back. Now he's going to go around to uh, escape the restoration push and the double push at the same time. He's probably going to look for some uh, his ship kills or just go around the entire map to the triathlon of uh, AOM. He's gonna remake some docks and he's gonna kill this ship with 16 ships. Worth. So, yeah, he's trying to take out some fish ships to hurt uh, Metal O, his eco. So, yeah, so far, uh, Keen seems to be in the lead in the score, but uh, at the same time, GDM is keeping up, so. Platinum is going around the entire map, just killing fish ships. And purple is going to defend in the middle. So yeah, this card is still there. 1 HP. If only this beer could finish him off once and for all. I wonder if we're like going to see the Unreal from that scout. That'd be hilarious. So here we see... Yellow almost going in too deep, but he realized it at the right moment that he had to go back. And that's what he did. So let's see what's gonna happen on the land right now. So Metal O is gonna open up with Armory. He's gonna look to go Heroic soon. And he already has a, a second TC as well. Gold Lion is going for a second TC2, and there comes the restoration. Keen is gonna back off, Skitty is gonna back off, Gold Lion is going back to his base. At the same time, we have Metal O uh, fighting X Platinum in his own uh, Navy base, and he's cornering him uh, quite nicely. Uh, no second TCs yet for GDM, or actually Teal is going for one, for one right now with two villagers. So he's gonna boom Lil there. And then we have uh, Skatey going for the second TC too, which is almost up. And yeah, the sea battles are just still going on. It seems like Keen has an advantage, but at the same time, uh, X Platinum just shock waved the villagers of uh, Metal O and uh, he's trying to put a stop to this TC from going up. 
He has uh, or metal OS Carol on the case actually. Oh, there it goes another restoration for uh, GDM. So let's see what god parts we have left. Uh, three bolts, a ceasefire, a feller, and uh, a sentinel. So Teal is trying to hit the villagers with the boats, but uh, he's not in range. He was in range though for the sand tower. So he, he took that out. Rest in peace, uh, Cairo and his family. So there the bolt went down on the mana tower. Some idle villagers from uh, Skadi though. But he's dealing with a uh, with the Minotaur quite nicely. At the same time though, uh, Yellow, uh, his Jason is like going balls deep right now. He's so deep into the base. Still uh, rocking it up. Ah, there he goes though. What a hero. Rest in peace, 9 minutes until 10 minutes. So let's see. Uh, no town center yet from purple though it's kind of interesting uh, usually you see the pocket player from each team like booming really hard like they usually take like 3 TC's early or uh, actually only 2 and 3 total but yeah uh. it's interesting to see uh, how GDM their strategy is gonna play out I feel like they need to do like a time push or something fast because they're gonna get behind pretty fast uh, if they don't like push right now or like get some map control advantage or like kill more villagers because right now uh, Metal always on 3 TC and he's like booming out of his mind right now sea battle is still going on uh, at this point of the game usually it's like the time where you really want to switch to land so uh, I'm not too sure about like still making fight ships yeah they're not but yeah they're not that's good so yeah they're starting all to focus on land right now uh, let's see a stable going down from for yellow no eco upgrades upgrades yet though for uh, yellow which is not good. Oh. Nice sentinel though, I like this. The forward sentinel with the wall of buildings. Uh, Gold line also gonna take his 30 C. And at the same time he's going very very ham right now in the base of yellow. The minor tower is keeping right in check though. Artisu is chilling out. He's looking forward to go out on the sea again, but not today. So yeah, uh, it seems like GDM is actually gonna lose the sea right now. They're getting outnumbered. Uh, Gold Lion is doing a very nice gank on the sea, just coming from behind with the flank, or actually from uh, just from the front, just straight ahead, running down mid. Aaron putting up the pressure though. He's uh, keeping uh, the fish ships of uh, Gold Lion in his dock, which is very good. He just brought him out though. Okay. Anyway, uh, GDM uh, opening up with the stable archery range and the three idle villagers special. I mean, it's an intense game, man. Uh, he's getting pressure right now, so like uh, the skatey pressure, it's tough. There goes the shockwave, hitting all of the units of Metal O, and they're just flying across the trees. Team Rocket blasting off again, but uh, Metal O is actually going very, very deep with the TCs right now. He's taking the fourth TC. Uh, of the game right now and at the same time he's taking the forward of uh, X Platinum.
So it seems right now like Keen is having a, a really big lead. Uh, can GDM do a comeback right now? Can, will uh, Platinum get demoted to gold or is he gonna get promoted to diamond? For the league players that are watching right now. So the pressure is still going on. He's trying to harass the villagers building uh, the town center. He's doing a very nice job of this. With this and uh, at the same time he's also hitting the villagers with uh, the ships. This brave villager fought, uh, fought uh, until his death though. Rest in peace my brother. So yeah, uh, Keen is having a very very nice base here on the front. Uh, this looks very tough to uh, take down the Sentinel, all the buildings right here. Like even if they lose their army right here, they can just reproduce it. And at the same time, Gold Line is dropping down a ceasefire. And uh, Skate is gonna finished his town center at the same time he's gonna be dropping uh, his new hot fire mixtape and his temple uh, he's gonna kill the bear even though he was doing nothing wrong murderer really nice market placement from metal o. he's probably yeah he was checking if he can build a wall right here because he doesn't want any like intruders or anything to stop his caravans, caravans from uh, doing their job they're getting paid for it so uh they don't want to be uh annoyed by enemy raiders yeah so there goes the wall uh and this choke point is like very tough to fight for gdm right now So I'm curious if uh, if GM is actually like gonna make seed ships or something uh, to take out the town centers to to get like back into the game. That uh, would be a pretty good idea. So Skate is actually going for the most balanced unit in the game right now. Satyrs. Yes, guys. This horny guy. No puns intended is a very very strong unit he's even getting an upgrade Gemino uh, giving them uh, more damage I think I'm not too sure actually so uh, Teal and Blue are still having a dance off right here in the middle just dancing around kind of like waiting for the perfect fight So Medlo is going to hit the Mythic Age and uh, we're going to see the Underworld. Yes indeed, here it is. Not from the scout though, but uh, it will have to do. So GDM, uh, Pharaoh and Dance really have to make a push right now on Red because he's 2v1 and this side is 2v1 as well. Uh, it's gonna be tricky. Gold line hitting the Mythic Age as well. He's gonna get the Forge of Olympus for the cheap upgrades. So uh, the power spike is gonna kick in really soon and really fast and strong too. Yeah, there's the setters just uh, throwing his spears at the buildings and suddenly it catches fire. AOM logic. So let's see, there comes the villagers from uh, green. They're gonna build uh, some nice castles, some fortresses. Nice shockwave though. I bet those units must be shocked. There goes the chaos. And this uh, Mantignor doesn't like his teammates anymore. He's just gonna start attacking yellow right now. Ooh, imp implode. That's gonna suck in some uh, stuff. It's gonna hurt actually. 
There's a lot of satyrs too. He, he has seven satyrs. That's actually insane. Like when they hit at the same time, like for example on like, on like a pack of villagers or something, like it does like splash damage, like uh, like it just destroys them like instant one shot. It's like a chimera on crack, basically. So, uh, Platinum uh, lost his town center, and he's trying to retake it, but it's gonna be tough with all these fortresses and uh, the new real estate uh, from a Metal O right here. It's like he, he just built a skyscraper like literally next to uh, the house of Platinum. Like uh, a 3 inch uh, distance between the two uh, buildings. Like when you look out of the window it's like hey neighbor, it's a nice brick wall you have there. Damn, look at the setters though, they're just like going, they're just like doing their thing. Hitting the castle, ooh, one shot right there. So let's take a look at the armory upgrades uh, from blue. Decent upgrades, the game is pretty intense, so uh, it's pretty decent. He's making a special unit of 8s2, which has a bonus damage against buildings. He has a very nice golden head. Gotta look good when you destroy buildings. There's like a certain kind of fashion code if you work for the 8s army. Uh, there goes the first resign. GG though. Uh, GDM did a nice job of uh, of stalling the game out a little bit after they got behind. There was definitely a uh, place to uh, make a comeback with like seed chips or something. But uh, unfortunately, the push was too strong. GG in caps lock. Alright, so I think we're gonna go back to the lobby.